Well, drilling in Anwar, drilling offshore in more places in the United States, exploring renewable alternatives, finding more energy here at home is the focus of the energy bill that Congress has been working on. And we wanted to have a substantive discussion about this with two of the people who are involved in making decisions in Washington. So joining us now from Minnesota is Republican Congresswoman Michelle Bachman. And here in studio is Democratic Congressman Frank Pallone from New Jersey. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for being with us. Uh, Congressman uh, Bachman, I want to talk to you first about this because those pictures that we just showed, uh, we, we took from an airplane ab above Anwar and you were with us on that airplane. You went up there to sort of get a sense for yourself about the impact of drilling in Anwar. What did you come away with? With. What's your feeling having been there? Ali, I came away with the, with the idea that this is the most perfect place on the planet to drill. It is just 70 miles east of the current energy yeah, lifeline that comes down through Alaska. It's permanently frozen in total darkness three months out of the year, under ice and snow nine months out of the year, and it's a concentrated area. Also, it's important for your listeners to know that this area was specifically set by, aside by President Jimmy Carter for the purpose of drilling. It's it's the size of a postage stamp on a football field, so a very tiny area. And if there's anything that the north slope of Alaska has proved, it is a 31-year demonstration project of responsible drilling that can coexist very well, environmentally speaking, with habitat and with wildlife. Representative uh, Pallone, you, you, um, we, you know the position that, that uh, Representative Bachman has. What's your view on, on drilling in Anwar? It's going to give us some amount of oil, definitely, uh, at a time when we seem to be short of oil. Do you think it's worth it? It's not necessary. There's an area right next to it called the National Petroleum Reserve, which is much bigger, where drilling is allowed. Uh, Democrats uh, posted a bill that would say that you could actually lease more area in the National Petroleum Reserve and build the pipeline from there you know, to the continental United States. And the Republicans oppose that. So this is a false debate because actually we'd like to drill in the National Petroleum Reserve. Uh, and, and the Republicans essentially block the effort to do more there. Now, Representative Bachman, we also flew over the, uh, the National Petroleum Reserve. And we're talking about that. We saw some oil facilities there. Bottom line is, as many of our viewers may or may not know, there's a great deal of drilling that goes on uh, in Alaska. We were at the, the, the beginning, the head of the, Atla uh, the Alaska pipeline. What, what do you think about that alternative drilling in that area that is okay to drill in? Well, Ali, the choice isn't drilling one way or, or one place or another. What we need to do is all of the above. We need to be drilling in Anwar because it's the most convenient, quickest place. It's also the smallest footprint. We could continue to drill in the National Petroleum Reserve, and I would favor that. The fact is, we would have a larger environmental footprint if we would do that, whereas we would have a smaller footprint if we would drill in the Anwar area. I believe we should drill in both as well as offshore, as well as the two trillion barrels of oil that are available for oil shale in uh, Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming, let alone the natural gas, let alone the coal, let alone so solar, wind, and also and, the and new generation of car batteries. Fortunately, we're, we're talking we need about to do all it of those all. things. That's our position. Uh, oil shale, which is what the president has talked about, is some distance away because of the infrastructure that has to be put onto this. But uh, offshore oil drilling, here's an interesting one, because John McCain is definitely getting some traction on the idea of offshore drilling. We're seeing more and more people support the idea. And while Barack Obama has said that could be seven or ten years, John McCain, I think, has shortened that to 10 to 12 months or something, he says people tell him. What's the, what's the general opposition, uh, Representative, to, to, uh, your, for, to drilling offshore? Well, first of all, I should point out that last I heard, uh, John McCain was still opposed to drilling in Anwar. Right. So, and, and that's that the correct. position he takes. Uh, I think that what the real answer here is we have to get away from fossil fuels and dependence on, on oil and natural gas. I mean, we have to encourage renewables. And I would say that, you know, that should be the focus. Democrats in Congress have put up bills that basically would say that 20 percent of our energy needs for utilities sh should be through renewables. We've been trying to take the money away, the subsidies away from the oil industry and give it to people, both, you know, homeowners and commercial establishments that would use it for for uh, solar power or, or wind power. Uh, we've tried to increase the fuel efficiency of cars and trucks. Unfortunately, on all these other issues, which are much more comprehensive and would lessen dependence on fossil fuel, 
in most cases, President Bush and the Republicans in Congress have opposed us. And that's the problem. The Republicans keep saying drill, drill, drill. That's not the answer. The answer is to get away from fossil well, fuels. This is part of why we brought both of you on, because I think you, you share views on uh, where we, we need to get more fuel from and what else we need to do. But uh, Representative Bachman, Representative Pallone, I think the issue here is that uh, to the American public, the Democrats and the Republicans are just not coming together on this. And I don't know whether it's that none of you will change your positions or you won't look at it comprehensively. Uh, Representative Bachman, let me start with you. What is it going to actually take to get you all to come up with a solution? Because I don't think there's as much difference in space between you as, as we may be led to believe. I agree. I don't think there's a large space between us either. I think what would get us to come together would be to have the Speaker of the House call all members of Congress back to Washington, D.C. I'm going back to Washington, D.C. this week to speak on the floor because I believe we should be in D.C. solving this problem rather than at home on vacation. What we believe as Republicans in the House of Representatives is all of the above. We don't believe that as members of Congress we should decide which form of energy the American people should use. We think the American people can make that decision in the free marketplace. Representative Let's Pallone, just what do you legalize think of that suggestion? energy production. Well, the we're, the only is, state, we're the only country in the, the world that has made it illegal that to it, access our own energy. That it hasn't happened. In other words, when we were in session in, in June and July, the Speaker uh, brought up all these bills, you know, to, to eliminate speculation in the market, to, to uh, increase... Uh, production in the National Petroleum Reserve, to take uh, oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, uh, to increase uh, renewables and take uh, the subsidy away from the oil companies and give it to renewables. And every time the Republicans oppose this legislation, we want, Democrats want a comprehensive approach that also increases drilling, not in these environmentally sensitive areas, but the Republicans have blocked that. So I would hope that when we come back that we can take this comprehensive approach, but the president has to give in on these other issues as well, and that is to less reliance on fossil fuels. Uh, well, you both have a commitment to this, and, and, and I think it would be a good to take that message back. That I, the, the outside observer sort of sees people who are determined to try and make some change here, but it's not getting done. So we thank you both for coming and sharing your views with us. And again, I, I underscore, I don't think there's as much difference between them as we might think. Uh, Representative Bachman, good to see you again. Thank you very much. Representative Pallone, thank you for being with us. Thank